everyone. As always, thanks for coming to check out today's video. Today's video is kind of a follow-on for the last video that I did, and I'll try to put that somewhere up about here. Anyways, the last video that I did was an overview of GPS trackers. I talked about the different types that you could buy and the different scenarios that you would use one. And I tried to explain it all so if you were looking for one, you could kind of get an idea of what's the best one for you. One of the types that I talked about that I said I would make another video on is called a GPS data logger. And what's good about the data logger is there's no monthly service fee. Most of the other GPS trackers out there that you can buy, there's a monthly cellular service fee for data. With a data logger, while it doesn't give you real-time data, it doesn't tell you instantly where it is, all the information is stored and it's retrievable whenever you're able to get it. So what a data, with a data logger, basically what you do is you, you put it inside of a vehicle, you let the vehicle go drive around, the, tra the data logger collects all the information for everywhere that it's been. When the vehicle comes back, you take the data logger out, you plug it into your computer, you download the information and put it in a map program like Google Earth, and you get all the information. So today I am using a, a brand called an I Got You, and the model is a GT120. So yeah, we'll go ahead and take a look at this. All right, real quick, if you are here to see the GT120 I Got You, Download the software and the driver before you plug the device into the computer. But yeah, so we will go ahead and get started. Okay, to get started, before we plug in the device, you want to open up the package and you want to take a look inside and there's a web address listed for the software and for the driver for the I Got You. So we're going to go ahead and go to that website. and it will bring you to this mobile action web page. Over here on the left side, you can see all the different I Got You GPS data loggers. I am testing the GT120, and in the package it says you want to download the software and you want to download the driver for it. I've already downloaded both of those files. I went ahead and ran the driver, it's an exe file, and then I ran the atrip.exe file, which is the program. So, once you install those, it will bring you to this program, this at trip PC program. Here at the top left you can see all the the icons of the things you can do. You can see the majority of them are grayed out. So now at this point we can go ahead and plug in the I Got You data logger. For the GT120 my computer did not recognize the device on a USB 3.0 port. When I moved it to a USB 2.0 port it did recognize the device. Alright so I'll go ahead and plug in the device. And you can now see that several of the grayed out icons are now highlighted and have color to them. Alright, the next thing we're going to do is configure the I Got You data logger. And the way you do that is you come up to these icons on the top and you're going to click the second to the right icon. It's the one with the hammer and the I Got You data logger. This window is going to pop up. It's going to ask you if you want to configure the device or if you want to reset it. It also gives you the option to enable a password check. We are just going to go ahead and click Next. Next is going to bring you to choose Startup Method. You can either do manual control, which means you press the button on the front of the device, or you can do schedule control, which means you go in and you set up a time for it to turn on and you set up a time for it to turn off. We're just going to go ahead and do manual control. We'll go ahead and click Next. Next, it's going to go ahead and bring you to Set Tracking Interval. So on the left hand side on this bar right here you can see the different modes that you can set your I Got You logger in. We're just going to go ahead and leave it on the flip flop for obviously for walking. And on the top right hand side you can see waypoint logging interval and you can see best battery power. Currently the I Got You is logging its location every 15 seconds which gives it a battery life of 30 hours which is an estimate but for this device it's a very reliable estimate. What you need to know from here is the faster you make the I Got You log where it's at the quicker it will run through the battery and the longer you make it log where it's at obviously the battery will last longer. So I'll go ahead and change these numbers just so you can see the battery 
life change. I will double the interval. I will put it up to 30. And now you can see that you get 60 hours of battery time. So I'll go ahead and put the intervals at 10 seconds. And now you see that you get 20 hours of battery time. I'm going to go ahead and put this back to 15 seconds. And for now, I'm just going to leave this as is because this will work great just the way it is. So I'm going to go ahead and click Next. All right, the device is now configured. And it's asking me to please unplug the device from the PC for changes to take effect. So I'm going to go ahead and unplug the device. Now I'm going to click Finish. And now I'm going to go ahead and go get some waypoints for my I Got You. All right, so I'm on Bayshore Boulevard in Tampa. I uh, got the I Got You. I am uh, going to go ahead and turn it on and start tracking some plots with it. And um, yeah, I'm going to go drive through uh, downtown with it and I'll show you what that looks like on the map. data back out of the GPS logger. So I'm going to go up here to the top left and click this top left button. And I'm going to click to import the data from the GPS device. Alright, so I'm getting this no data is found in the device. I've already gone ahead and tried to, to get the, the data out of the device. And it has downloaded it and it has cleared it, so that's why I'm getting the no data is found in the device. And that's okay. Okay, so what we're going to do next is we're going to go ahead and hit cancel. We're going to come up back to the top and this fourth icon, this new trip, we're going to click it. And here you can see um, you can see the different trips that the I Got You has recorded. So we're going to go ahead and get the last one from my drive. I'm going to click next on that. And I'm going to name this uh, Tampa. So we've got three different styles of maps that we can pick here. For now, I'm just going to go ahead and go with classic style. And click next. I am not going to add a photo to map. I go click next. It's now processing data. Trip complete. Track data and photos are imported successfully. But we didn't do any photos, but that's just the message that it's going to give you. Go ahead and click finish. It's loading the map data. And here you can see Tampa. So I'll go ahead and, and zoom out just so you can get a complete view of the map that it gives you. Now this is um, this is Google Maps. So I'm going to go ahead and scroll back in. you can see the trip that I made. You can see where I started on Bayshore. And you can see that I, I took a ride onto Bayshore. And you can see where each interval recorded at. And you can see the quality of the imagery that it gives you as well. So this is a this is very good imagery, and you can see my trip. 
as I took the Selman Expressway, and then I stopped it right here at 75. So, that is the information that it returns to you. Alright, so that is a data logger in a nutshell. I, uh, I hope you liked the video. If you did, please hit the like button or the subscribe button. And as always, thanks for coming by, and I um, hope to see you on the next video. Thanks.